Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lecture. Today we have turning decimals into fractions, the exact opposite of what we did last time. Um, let's jump right into it with some examples. The first one you have is 0.18. The key to these questions is going to be um, to reduce the fractions that we end up with. So if we have 0.18, uh, we are going to do the exact opposite of what we did last time when we moved the decimal. We are going to get this to be out of 100. Because there's two decimal places here, I'm going to move the decimal two places to right there. And that turns this into the fraction 18 out of 100. And now the real work starts. Because this is a fraction, but we need to take this fraction and turn it into um, the lowest form. So the, to reduce it, essentially. And I can see that these are both even. And the easiest way to reduce fractions when they're both, both even is to divide them both by 2. So if I divide both the top and the bottom by 2 to reduce this, I get 9 and 50. And neither of, like, they don't have a lowest um, common multiple. So you cannot reduce that any further. Um, so 9 out of 50 is our final answer for the decimal 0.18. Let's go down. We've got 0.63 next. So 0.63, we've got two decimal places. We're going to move the decimal place over two, so it's going to be over 100. So this is 63 out of 100. And then I need to think, are there any numbers that go both into 63 and to 100? Uh, no, there are not. Um, so this is our final answer, actually. 63 out of 100. When you cannot reduce it, the final answer is just what you've written. Let's go to another example. We have an example of 0.8. We have only one decimal place this time. We're just going to move it over 1. That means that we're going to end up with uh, a fraction over 10. So we've got 8 out of 10. That's if I move the decimal place over 1. And they're both even, so I'm going to divide them both by 2. I'm going to get 4 fifths, and that is as low as it can go. You can't reduce it any further. So that is our final answer for that question. We have one more, and I'm going to do a bonus one for you just for fun. 0.75. We have two decimal places. I'm going to move it over 2. That's going to be 75 out of 100. They're not both even, but they are both divisible by 5. So if I divide this one by 5 and this one by 5, um, I know that 50 divided by 5 is 10, and 25 divided by 5 is 5. So if I have both of those together and 75, that would be 15. And 100 divided by 5 immediately, I know, is 20. Uh, I can divide both of those by 5 again. So this is further reducible. We're going to keep going until it, you can't reduce it anymore if I divide both of these by 5. Uh, 15 divided by 5 is 3. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. That is as low as it can go. 3 quarters. And you probably already knew that 0.75 was 3 quarters of something. Let's do the bonus question, which, yeah, you guys don't have, but I'm going to add in here. It's going to be uh, 0.64. So 0.64 is going to be turned into something over 100, that's 64 out of 100, two decimal places. We divide both of them by 2. 64 divided by 2 is 32. And 50 for 100 divided by 2. I can divide both of those by 2 again. Uh, 32 divided by 2 is 16. 50 divided by 2 is 25. And there we go. We have our final answer. So. Uh, this is really a practice in reducing fractions and knowing what numbers are multiplied and divided by um, kind of quickly. If you guys have questions, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you soon.